This time, Russians stormed the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in a Ziguli car. Russian occupiers are storming Ukrainian positions using various types of military equipment, even Ziguli vehicles. An officer of the planning section of the Rubez Brigade of Ukraine, Major of the National Guard, Dmitry Kozubenko, said this on air at the Telethon, according to Unayan Agency. At the same time, he spoke about a curious incident when a month ago, the enemy greatly surprised the Ukrainian military. They stormed our positions in a Ziguli. It was a VAZ-2104 type vehicle, but without doors. It was maximally prepared for the rapid landing of infantry. But they demilitarized both themselves and the car very quickly, Gozubenko noted. At the same time, he added that he couldn't even imagine what else the enemy could do to surprise the Ukrainian military. They stormed us in buggies, ATVs, motorcycles and Ziguli cars. Armored vehicles, of course. The only thing is, if they ride now on a unicycle or a bicycle, he joked. Gozobenko also explained why it is very difficult to fight in the city. Urban combat is a very difficult part of warfare because the enemy can hide in basements, destroyed houses, attics. There are a lot of places where you can set up firing positions, observation posts that will be hidden from our side, he noted. At the same time, he added that it is drones that help identify the enemy because the bulk of our positions are either at ground level or below ground level and it is very difficult to see the enemy moving behind the rubble. According to him, therefore, with the help of Mavics, it is possible to detect the enemy from the air and with the help of thermal imaging cameras, identify them in shelters. Gozobenko noted that copters play an important role during battles in the city because they can look there and see what is not visible from positions. Retired British Army colonel and famous military expert Glenn Grant said that there may be an unexpected enemy attack that will catch the Ukrainian armed forces completely unawares. He noted that as the war progresses, Russia is becoming increasingly desperate in its attempts to achieve its goals. According to him, attacks are becoming more frequent, more old equipment is being transferred to the front line, and even innovative tactics are being used, such as using combat buggies and motorcycles for attacks. Thus, Pressure is put on the Russian front line and on officers to achieve results. Grant noted that while the front line is moving forward, Russia is losing in the broader picture. Part of a house perched on the edge of the Blue Earth River in Minnesota collapsed into waters near the Rapidan Dam. A portion of the house on the property closest to the Rapidan Dam has been undercut enough to have fallen into the river, the Blue Earth County Sheriff's Office said in a statement. Blue Earth County Public Works, Emergency Management and Sheriff's Office are monitoring for downstream impacts. The house belongs to an area family that has operated the Rapidan Dam store for decades. The store has a cafe well known by residents in the area for its pies and hamburgers. It's very close to the house. We had to evacuate this morning, get as much as we could out. All the freezers and such, Jenny Barnes, whose family has owned the home and nearby Rapidan Dam store for more than 50 years, said. It's my childhood. I grew up in the house, I grew up in the dam store. I've been there all my life. Rapid erosion carved the ground below the home, leaving its east side hanging over a cliff before the partial collapse. The dam remains in imminent failure condition, according to county officials, but the threat of a breach has diminished. Sheriff Jeff Wurzel said the water level in a catastrophic event would not be that significant. At least two people are dead after days of severe storms and catastrophic flooding in the upper Midwest inundated homes and forced evacuations. The Rapidan Dam, near the city of Mankato, was in imminent failure condition, the Blue Earth County government said. Assessment and response efforts are underway as the area has seen significant damage and loss of infrastructure and property, authorities said. That's crazy how much stuff is just built up right there. Oh, oh my.